that exist in, in 2013. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at a list of items. Now hopefully we have a good one. I'm going to pick on the chain. I'm hoping that that works. There's a new series of functionality under this availability menu. Uh, previously, or in, in prior versions, we had this functionality, which enabled us to look at inventory across different locations. We could see what's on hand, what's on order, what's coming in through purchase orders, what's coming in through transfer orders, and the planned orders coming from MRP. The new, it also had this functionality, which is the uh, availability by period. So starting off at a particular day, uh, either sorted by week or by month, it's going to show you when in time you're going to have product available. They've introduced two new, or maybe three new, uh, functionalities here. First one is the bill of material. So if I go up to the, the bicycle and I click on Bill of Material, it's going to give me the availability of all of the components on, on the screen. So I click here, so now I'm looking at the uh, front wheel, and that front wheel, it has a series of components that go into it in the, in the hub, etc. So this is an indented Bill of Material uh, making a bicycle. And then I can see here the overall availability. And same thing, you can start filtering out different locations or different times. Uh, you can also run a time a timetable to show you when you're able to make the, the, the final product. So great features uh, that exist, especially if you're, you're in a make-to-order environment. The other great piece of functionality that they added is this uh, availability by timeline. Let's open that up. So there we go. So it, it was always difficult to see when when you're going to stock out, so now they made it uh, more of a visualization. I think it's a great report. It can show you projected inventory, and it can include things like planned orders. Same thing, you can include forecasts into that mix, as well as sort it into different locations. So this gives you the visibility of when you're going to stock out of product it, over a time period, as well as you can even make changes. You can uh, increase the uh, planned order uh, supply through this window. The last one, which I think is also pretty good, is this availability by event, which gives a breakdown of, of the incoming and outgoing demand and supply over a period of time. So it summarizes here the scheduled receipts and the projected inventory and then the demand coming in. And then if I wanted to, I can expand that and I can see Oh, well, these are scheduled receipts coming from these particular production orders or from the, uh, from the, let me check on this one. I should have a purchase order somewhere. Oh, this is a, this is a manufactured item. If I go to a rim, for instance, I'll see maybe a different perspective. So uh, fairly nice functionality. Again, you can sort this group this by day, week, month, and filter it by your different items, and include forecasts, blanket orders, and planning suggestions. So these are all great new features that give you great control over your inventory and the supply chain, and it was introduced uh, in the new version 2013. Another uh, great new feature that they've introduced on the jobs module so Navision has uh, a full, fully uh, like project level costing. It has the capability, obviously, of production orders and assembly orders and kitting, but it also has this capability of, of jobs. So jobs are very different than production. Jobs are long contracts, maybe they're construction or, or government-based, things that don't end necessarily in a week or a month. And so there is a new functionality called the WIP Cockpit, which allows us to click on Calculate WIP, and it will give us a suggestion of how much revenue we should be recognizing, how much cost we should be recognizing in the period. And it gives us this screen here that allows us to click and review before we decide to post that work in process directly into the GL. 